Hi, I'm Diana Lassier, the sales manager for the Oar Board. Today I'm going to show you how to inflate your paddle board. I'm also going to cover any frequently asked questions. Having an inflatable board is a great way to make storage and travel with your SUP really easy. Inflating them only takes about 15 minutes and can be done by yourself. Your valve is a two-way valve, so when you're pumping up your board, make sure the valve is up, that's locked in place, it'll hold all the air. That way when you twist your pump off when you're done, no air will escape. Then when you are ready to deflate your board, you're going to just push the valve in and lock it down in place. Ready to start pumping your board, you want to have it completely rolled out and make sure you remember to have that valve up and in place to hold the, lock the air in. It just twists with your thumb and should pop right up. Then you're going to take your hose valve and lock it on the two little grooves, twisting it in and lock it in place. Now when you start pumping, you're not going to see anything come on the gauge until your board is fully shaped which is gonna make it seem like something's going wrong, but don't worry, once you get it fully in shape, it starts to have pressure and your gauge will start to show. Okay, now that you can see the board has taken full shape, we're starting to see pressure on the gauge. It's moved up to five. The pump is a two-way valve, so you're pushing air out on the way up and down on the pump. So now I'm about 11 PSI, just past the 10. Somewhere between the 10, just over it, I'm gonna to switch to a single valve. That way I'm just pushing down and have you so much energy pulling up. A little easier for the last part of your, your warm up while you pump your board. Now the board is gonna to start to feel quite rigid at just 10 PSI, but it needs to go right to 15. It can handle the pressure and that's gonna make it row or paddle that much better. Now once your board is pumped up to 15 PSI, you're gonna come up and take the hose off right at the bottom, twisting it, that one clip out, Making sure you leave the valve out so you're locking the air in. Put your cap over top, lock it in place. Now you're ready to install your fin and your oar board and head out on the water. Okay, to deflate your SUP, you first want to remove your fin and your oar board. Then you want to come over, you're going to undo the cap, and then to release the air, you're going to push this valve right down and lock and twist it in place. Once you have all the air out, you can fold up the board for travel or storage. Starting from the nose, fold it all the way up to the end, keeping the valve open, forcing out any extra air. Thanks for watching, and remember you can see all of our videos on our website and all our social media channels. Happy rowing!